hello hello i hope you guys are all doing well um today we are going to be sealing this beautiful diamond painting just finished it earlier today um and my daughter has been waiting on this one for quite a while um and i kept <laughs> going and doing another one, even though I kept telling her I would do this one for her because she really wanted it up on her wall. But I kept getting ones that I was like, I really want to do this one first. But um, anyways, so we are going to seal this because I am not going to frame it in your traditional way where, you know, it's in a frame with a glass in front of it. So because of that, and it is around, I don't want there to get like hair and dust and dirt and all that grossness um, in between the drills. And so sealing it just helps keep it nice and clean and last longer. You don't have to worry about, you shouldn't have to worry about drills falling off anyways, but um, this gives you just a little more insurance that that will not happen. Now, I know a lot of people use Mod Podge, and I do sometimes, but um, I also use something a little different because you don't have to water it down or anything. It's just the consistency is, um, it's just right out of the can. You go for it. So, it is not too expensive. I cannot remember how much this was. I will have to um go and look but it's called polycrylic um and it is a water-based sealant i will um get a better view of that you guys um in a bit but basically it's a crystal clear finish it dries really really fast and um it's it's easy to clean off your brushes and all of that stuff because it is water-based so i am going to I will flip it around so that this is um, the right way for you because <clears throat> it doesn't really matter for me at this point which way I do it. Um, so yeah, I am going to seal this painting and you can watch. So basically I'm going to start at the edge right here and you're just going to take uh, first of all, actually, what you should do is go over your painting, make sure all your drills are in place to where you want them. Make sure that there aren't any, um, you know, big hairs or anything on here that you don't want to be sealed into your painting. Um, there's a couple hairs here from my cat because he's a little turd and likes to you know how cats are. It's like, ooh, something I'm not supposed to get on. I think I'll get on it then. So I have had to yell at him a couple times already today to get off of this painting. So that's the other thing. Once it's sealed, his hair will no longer stick to it. I will be able to brush it off much, much, much easier. So you can use your typical paintbrush, you guys, but I find it easier, faster, um, and cheaper because these you can get for really cheap. It's just your typical sponge on the end of a stick. So what you want to do is just dip it into your polycrylic. I always kind of wipe off one side so it's not dripping all over your painting. And you want to just start at the edge and just kind of go, go over it just, just like that. Now, I'm going to see if I can get a closer view for you guys so that you can really see exactly what I am doing. So, hang tight. Okay, so I am going to just give you a close-up view. Then I will pull you up um, and you guys can just watch in a time lapse of me working on getting this completely sealed. So, like I said, dip it in um, and then just start working your way across that top, um, making sure you get this lining right here because that is a part where everything will stick. Now, 
you will um, be cutting that if you're going to um, be doing it in a way that I am. And sometimes it's going to look like it's all bubbly and and like it's, it's um, you know, going to show. But believe me, when you are done, it will look wonderful. So don't get all worried about it. I mean, you don't want it to be super, super thick. You can always do two layers if you need to. But um, you do want, you know, to get a fair amount so that it actually does what it's supposed to do and gets in between those drills um, on to that sticky surface so that it no longer is sticky. Um, that is what we are doing. So I will put you back up into the, um, I think it's called an aerial view, so that you can watch as I go along and um, seal this entire painting. Because I like to ensure that whatever sealing, sealant I mean, that I'm using, that I am not taking away from that gorgeous sparkle that we know and love from diamond paintings. Because that's one of the things most of us love is when it's done of how sparkly they are. So what I do is, because that sealant is for the in between the drills, not for on top of the drills. So I have baby wipes around my house all the time, even though my kids are 10 and 13 because they're very handy for a lot of different things. So I grab a few baby wipes and I just kind of fold them like so. Then I just take it and kind of wipe the top of my drills like this. Now, this doesn't take all of the sealant off of the top of them, but it does take, you know, some of it, which um, I think just, I don't know. I You don't have to do it, especially with your polycrylic, but I have done it with the Mod Podge, and so I kind of got in the habit, and now I just kind of feel like I need to do it. So, but like I said, totally optional. Um, if you feel like you want to do this or not, but after you wipe it down with your paper towels, and if you are using Mod Podge, this is a really good idea, you guys, um, because you don't want to accidentally use too thick, um, of Mod Podge and then take away from that beautiful, beautiful drill sparkle that we get, especially with the rounds. Um, and so after I would use the paper towel, then I go ahead and I use a, a dry, I mean, sorry, after I use the baby wipes, then I go ahead and use a dry paper towel and just kind of dry the top of them. Like so. And then the next step is the easiest. You just wait. Wait for it to dry. Um, come back, check it. If you think it needs another coating, do that process all over again. Okay, so that is how you successfully seal a diamond painting. I will do um, another one in the future using a different kind of sealant. This is using the poly uh, polycrylic. Um, but like I said, I use the Mod Podge stuff. I've used um, even just clear Elmer's glue 
can work. So there's lots of different things you can use. So I will make another video, but for now, um, I was just gonna seal this up anyways with the polycrylic, and I figured I'd get on and give you guys a little tutorial. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and even if it is cloudy and rainy outside where you are, make sure to keep on shining and have a great day. Bye, guys. Okay, so just wanted to show you this little clip real fast. Um, you can tell that it has lost none of the sparkle with using this method to seal it. Um, it's all dried and completely done here. There's no sunlight on it, but you can still see how sparkly it is and it looks great.